A lot of people are reporting Wi-Fi issues with their Nintendo Switch 2. As a matter of fact, I had a very specific issue that after some research on the internet, I found out that more people were having this issue. And that is my Nintendo Switch 2 being stuck at the 2.4 gigahertz signal of my Wi-Fi router. Now, after some further research, I found a post on Reddit of a very simple fix that fixed it for me and a lot of other people. Hi there fellow Nintendo gamers, my name is Veggie Vulture and this is still your go-to YouTube channel for anything Nintendo Switch 2. If you're new to this channel and you like what I do right here on this channel, please consider hitting the thumbs up, please consider uh, hitting the subscribe button, helps a small YouTuber out, uh, uh, like myself out a lot, and also put something in the comments, tell me I'm doing a good job, tell me I'm doing a bad job, whatever, uh, help me uh, grow this channel into something that we might all enjoy. Now, without further ado, I want to talk about a very specific Wi-Fi issue that a lot of people are having with their Nintendo Switch 2. Now, you might not know that you're having this issue. You might be playing your Nintendo Switch 2 wirelessly um, over Wi-Fi and you've been playing online Street Fighter 6, for example, and you've been having a lag and you've been having technical uh, like delays and everything and you feel your internet is just not doing its thing. For example, when playing Mario Kart, um, it might be that you see other people like jump around the track in a very unnatural way or people are just like standing still for a nanosecond. That can all... Uh, this one thing can all be the reason for that so first let's check if you are having this problem uh, then if you're having that problem how to potentially fix it now I'm not a expert on the ways of how Wi-Fi's work and all of that stuff I'm not an expert I'm just a guy doing the thing that I read about on the internet and that thing actually worked for me and it worked for a lot of people also I do not play Fortnite I installed Fortnite to check it out how it runs I don't play Fortnite anymore. I, I, man, I hate that game. I tried it, hated it, not gonna play it ever again. So, um, the first thing that you need to do to see if you're having this problem is go to the system settings, right? Just go to the system settings, um, uh, and then uh, all you need to do is go to the internet. And then right here, you get a um, frequency band in this list. I'm going to, in post-production, I'm going to pro uh, probably put an arrow right there. And you can see frequency band 5 gigahertz, right? Or whatever the GHZ, that's gigahertz, right? So 5 gigahertz. Now, a Wi-Fi router, if you have Wi-Fi in your home, you have a router. Could be built in your modem, could be built in your router, whatever. Sends a signal out, um, two signals, basically. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to dumb this down like a lot, so technical people, please don't murder me. But basically, it sends out a 2.4 gigahertz signal and a 5 gigahertz signal. We, of course, if we want to play games optimally, we want to play on a 5 gigahertz uh, signal most of the time. Um, the 5 gigahertz signal is just much faster. The problem is, uh, one of the problems with this is the following. The 2.4 gigahertz uh, 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 signal goes further. Meaning that if you're further away from your router, you might get 2.4 and it might not be fixable until you go closer to your router. The problem that happened to me and a lot of people is I went to play Mario Kart Online very far away from my router and then my switch decided to never again um uh, uh connect to the five gigahertz again even if my switch is sitting on the dock next to my router right it just didn't connect to the five gigahertz again uh so what you can do to fix that is actually pretty simple um all you need to do is i'm gonna drag and drop myself I think I'm gonna put myself right here, put myself, make myself a little bit smaller so you can clearly see. So um, normally for me it's, it's it's in Dutch, so I just put it in English. So just uh, so you go to your internet set settings, right? And you have a bunch of uh, Wi-Fi that this thing is going to find. So you have like these are all of like my uh, Wi-Fi that I connected to when I went on like trips with my first switch. It kind of it just put that over when I did transfer. So this is my home internet right here. Telenet uh, 072D2. This is my home Wi-Fi, right? So when you normally when you connect to this, uh, so you can just connect to this network, right? You connect to this network, no problem. That works. For me, it's five gigahertz now, but it was 2.4 gigahertz. So what you need to do here is instead of clicking the, so you connect to the to the network, uh, then you click it again. You go to your internet sections, go to your Wi-Fi, and then you just go to change settings. 
All you need to do once you're connected is go to change settings. And then there's the setting. And I do not know why this makes sense or how this works. It just does. Um, you go down here and there is this, uh, this thing called connect to a hidden network. Um, this was off for me and this is off for most people. If you put this on, right, and you click save, after a short while, for me, it took like about 10 seconds-ish, it went back to the 5 gigahertz. Now, for some people are uh, saying that once they flipped that switch, they still needed to put their switch into airplane mode and then back into normal mode for it to go to that 5 gigahertz. And other people are saying less like, yes, I flipped the switch, but then I need to go to my internet se settings, uh, disconnect from my internet with my switch, and then connect again. So reconnect to the internet. But as long as you keep reconnecting by going to airplane mode or just reconnecting to your internet without flicking that switch, there's a good chance your uh, switch two is going to stay into uh, in the 2.4 gigahertz Wi-Fi channel, which is something we of course absolutely do not want to have. Right now, as you can see, I uh, top right, I have a good signal. Uh, I'm very close. I'm, I'm like pretty close to my route, router right here, but uh, I have a very good signal, but I'm also, when I go right here to system settings, I go to internet, I can see that I'm only five gigahertz internet thingy, which now is of course a better way to play online and download games, of course. And that's it, that fixed the five gigahertz, 2.4 gigahertz problem on my Nintendo Switch and according to Reddit for a lot of other people, but make sure that if you're trying to fix this to be close enough to your router, I do not know the exact distances, but if you're too far away from your router, you're never going to catch that five gigahertz uh, uh, thingy. If there's like big concrete walls in the way or whatever, you're not going to uh, find or, or catch that five gigahertz uh, signal so if you want to optimally play your games online make sure to be close enough to your router uh, flip that switch and if this helped you make sure to hit the subscribe button hit the thumbs up thank me in the comments um, I don't know do whatever you want it's a free world and until next video bye bye